Today I want to talk about emotions. In the Bible, in Ecclesiastes 3, 1 and verse 4, it says, There is a time for everything, a time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. God gave us emotions. Yet so often, in my 30 years of ministry, I've seen people, especially men, try to suppress and hold down their emotions. And I'll tell you, that is something that is not good. It causes changes in the body towards an off balance, uh, an, an ill health that can come. Uh, the, the emotions that are suppressed, they have to come out some way, and you want to have them come out in the proper way. God intends for you to express emotion. It is a release. It is a, a tremendous soul uh, recovery tool that the body must use. When we express our emotions sincerely, we can bring joy or even begin the process that we need of deep healing. But if we continue to suppress our emotions, if we ignore our feelings altogether, we may needlessly prolong our pain. You've known people that years after an event, years they all of a sudden have this pain come up and they don't even understand it at the time because they suppressed way back when the emotion. Well, eventually it has to work its way up and then out and probably at a most <laughs> the most terrible time that it could possibly be. I've had people starting jobs that all of a sudden these emotions take over and it compounds with the stress. It's better that you express your emotions, that you be man enough to do this, that, that you are man enough to cry, that you're man enough to... to laugh at yourself, that you're, you're man enough to, to be a complete whole person, not just part, not just an appearance. If you have experienced a significant loss, if you have experienced a profound disappointment, please, my friend, don't bottle up everything inside. Be strong enough in God to express your feelings. Talk in an open way with a loved one. And if tears flow, tears flow. Even if you'd rather ignore your pain, I ask you to be strong enough in your spirituality not to do that. Reach out to people that you love and trust. So often, the spiritual person tries to stand up tall and say, I'm fine, I'm fine, I don't need help. Well, often that is the exact person that does need help. By honestly expressing your grief, your sorrow, you will take an active role in God's plan for your recovery. Your recovery will happen a lot quicker and it will be permanent. And in time, you will experience the comfort and the joy that is yours, that God wants you to know as your own.